Hi, everyone. Very happy to share with you on the Digital Commons, the role of immersive and gamification technologies in intergenerational co-design of public spaces. This is a design research project that brings university and high school students to work with older adult residents in public housing estates of Hong Kong. By utilizing methods of participatory action research and situated learning, students and local residents become collaborators to study the planning challenges of public spaces in the estate and propose ways to change them for the better. How can digital gamification and immersive tools facilitate intergenerational design and how participants to understand themselves and their needs as a community? The project aims to facilitate the common stewardship of data and information, which are valuable resources in collective learning and collective decision making. It tries to enhance digital inclusivity for the older generation and realize students' awareness in the conscious use of technology, scrutinizing the added social value and how our world of communication and production has changed. This project works with local community centers to be implemented on a continuing basis, interdisciplinarily between social workers and designers, intergenerationally amongst youth and older adults. The diversity of background highlights the importance of design communication tools in transcending needs, knowledge, and the everyday wisdom. Digital gamification may help to break down the digital divide and skills gap, thus facilitating a more equal dialogue between experts and non-experts. Whereas, virtual reality allows learners to experience local places from users' perspective and develop spatial empathy. Therefore, community gamification and immersive 3D visualization techniques are deployed to open consensus dialogues on the distribution of spatial resources in the public housing estates. The cooperative design process helps participants to actively acquire the design and analytical skills necessary with the learning objective to generate a shared expression of spatial needs. At the same time, the learning happens in relation to the social situation in which it occurs and the context in which it applies, where participants' interaction leads directly to the learning objective and together becomes a community of practice. With a uniquely diverse culture and urban landscape, cooperative design and learning practice may help to realize Hong Kong's collective potentials in public space planning. Public spaces facilitate public life, where one can interact with each other through supporting social exchanges, entertainment, community organizing, and commercial activities, thereby providing benefits to the community. Public spaces are potentially fertile but challenging ground for co-design, a collective design method that involves stakeholders in the process to ensure the outcome aligns with users' needs. Fertile, because public space presumes the participation of the public. Challenging, because the public may refer to every single individual, the entire population as a whole and the majority. The project is being evaluated with criteria that encompasses four dimensions and 16 levels, game design, dynamics, expressiveness, mechanics, and space, participatory experience, aspiration, reflection, creativity, and sustainability, learning outcomes, context, contract, community, and confidence, and co-creation results, satisfaction, inclusivity, needs, and consensus. These criteria are being used to design surveys, focus groups, observation logs, and analytical frameworks that collect and analyze quantitative and qualitative data through formal and informal responses. Data is being visualized with the goal of circulating the collective knowledge back to local communities and stakeholders of Hong Kong. For designer researchers interested in the design of VR games, public actors interested in feasibility and effectiveness of code design, private actors interested in ESG frameworks, and finally, for citizens to better understand themselves as a community. The findings and experiences documented in the study demonstrate how 3D interactivity, real-time engagement, and bottom-up perspectives may enhance the potential use of immersive digital twins in cooperative design thinking. A new powerful role of learners as instructors of collaborative planning processes and how informants may be taken not merely as passive data subjects, but active contributors in knowledge production by enhancing digital inclusivity, a form of citizen design science.